The project I have for you today is removing and replacing a rusted out garbage disposal. It's in my rental house. Last weekend I got a text from the girls that live there saying that something's leaking underneath the sink. I, I went over, I checked it out, and the garbage disposal is just a rusted up mess. It's a low end, builder grade, loud, probably not very rust resistant garbage disposal. That's exactly what I'm going to replace it with. This is where I used to live. This is my old sink. And this is my old garbage disposal. Pretty nasty. It's leaking out the bottom here. Right out the, the overload switch. First thing I'm going to do is unplug it. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be reusing this pigtail. That should come right out. That should come right out. That should come right out. These are, these are the dangerous ones right here, these orange ones. Be careful. Gotta be real careful with them. Come on. Jesus. Fucker. Oh! Oh, there we go. Piece of cake. Oh man, how did it get so rusty? Huh. Tempted just to reuse that, but I think I'll do it right and take everything out. I'm going to try to demonstrate as best I can how this comes out and goes in. Watching the removal and the replacement, you should be able to get a good idea. So there are three screws that force this down and there's a snap ring in here. Actually, there's a screw missing right there. That's crazy. Things that happen when your house turns into a rental. So I got these two screws to re remove. This here, I'll have, I have to hit it. It'll go up and then underneath here, I don't know if you can see, there's a little indentation there. That's where that, that ring is that this pushes against. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to go get some WD-40 and like a torch. Oh, these things are not coming off. I mean, you have to cut this off. And, oh, this one's loose. This one here. Oh, that helps. I could probably go get a bigger screwdriver. This thing got so rusty.
plumber's putty all dried up. This can cause a leak on both sides of your sink. That side over there uses the same type of sealant. A lot of guys have switched to just using silicone and not plumber's putty. I'm going to use plumber's putty. First, I've got to transfer some parts from this old one to this new one. That would be this drain pipe and the cord. So I'm putting in a little bit nicer one. This is a one-third horsepower. This is a one-half horsepower. A little bit more current draw. Probably should have grabbed the one-third, but we'll just go with this and see how it works. Gasket. Look at that rust. New one. So there's no nut on these. These just thread right in. You can see how they got a little. They're formed to be threaded right in. And when you take this out of the box, this is what the final configuration looks like when you go to put this back together. See the screws are tight. Now what I got to do is take this all apart and I'll show you this gasket here. It's a cardboard gasket. You would think it would go on the top, but it goes on the bottom. All that goes under. This is the only thing that goes in from the top. This is plumber's putty. Just grab a ball out and start making a worm. Now we just push this down in here. Most of this is all going to squeeze out. Just push it in there a little bit to get it to hold in place. Now we've got to go down below and install all this. This is a good chance this can pop loose. It's not a big deal. We'll get it seated. Like I said, there's a good chance this pops off while we're putting all this stuff on. Oops. Cardboard goes on first. Then this ring. Then this ring. Back these out as much as you can. You have more room. Now, this snap ring here. Hopefully, I'm not blocking the camera. And like I said, okay. Now, 
we just screw down these screws. I switch over to a real screwdriver. You don't want to use this impact. As I tighten those screws, you'll see this plumber's putty start squeezing out. But before I get too crazy, too carried away, I want to make sure it's centered in the hole. Then just peel off your excess plumber's putty and put it back in the container. Okay, now we're, we're back to the garbage disposal. There's three tabs. One, two, and three. Those tabs line up right here right there and when you turn it they go up these ramps and then there's a little nub tiny little nub right there that they pop over it's a little detent the only real mistake you can make here is uh, when you're putting it in you only get two of the tabs and one tab is still stuck out there push that in So here's a close-up of those tabs there. Uh, I just got it turned a little bit, and I'm going to go around, make, give it a wiggle, make sure I got them all in there, and then I'll uh, tighten it the rest of the way. An easy way to get it past that last bump is take your Harbor Freight channel locks, slip joint pliers, whatever you want to call them. Give it a little squeeze. Boom. Just like that. Hey, it's Mr. Mittens. Mr. Mittens peed on the floor today. So, in theory, we are done. Next is checking for leaks. Right back there is where the garbage disposal plugs in. And every time I do a video like this, people kind of lose their freaking minds that that is not a GFI. That's a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Just a regular breaker. Um, there is the, uh, the drain line for the dishwasher. Uh, has a Studer vent. This is a fix and flip. This house was built in 1912. Um, Studer vents everywhere. I get a little hammer rest around there for the uh, dishwasher. So I'm gonna give this thing, flip the switch first, make sure it works good. Brum, brum, brum. Start off with just regular water. I put, the, put it to the hot water. And go look for leaks. The only place this thing is going to leak is right up top there around the cardboard. You can see the squeeze out of the plumber's putty around there. That's good to see. I'll let this fill up halfway. No need to go all the way up. So what this is testing, what this water test is, you get water pressure built up on that seal, the plumber's putty. You fill that up. And look for leaks. See anything back there? Like I said, I don't really anticipate any leaks. Uh, when I pull that stopper, uh, the place that you're going to look for leaks is here. Because right now, all the water pressure is, is on this, this seal right there. That's enough. Come down, look at the leaks. Studer vent is doing its studering. No leaks. Now we'll flip the garbage disposal on. We're 
we're done. Well, that's it. It's kind of weird being back in the, my old house. It's weird. We have a house that's almost three times this size now. We live on a third of an acre. I got a giant workshop. But we miss this place quite a bit. It's weird. Tiny little front porch, tiny little front yard, teeny tiny backyard, one car garage. I'll take you out and show you my workshop if you haven't seen it in the past videos. Uh, 1912. This came to town oops, on a railroad car and was ordered out of a Sears catalog. In case you guys were, were wondering, um, I did bring my vacuum in. I got everything vacuumed up. So here it is. Still never put outlet covers on there. Insulated roof. What is that up there? I wonder what that wire is. 